Once we have a sense for what the three main financial statements are, the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement, we can begin to think about or we can appreciate that there would be certain links between each of the statements. Um, and it's when we know about these links and when we begin to understand the relationships between these statements that we can really feel comfortable that we understand what each of the statements aims to capture. Clearly, the income statement, um, which works its way from revenues of the company through operating expenses and other expenses through to a final figure for net income, is linked to the balance sheet in that the net income that's not paid out in dividends is retained by the company as retained earnings. And the retained earnings are an entry on the shareholder's equity portion of the balance sheet and will increase the size of the overall balance sheet. So if the company retains some of its earnings, um, then the right side will go up by those returning earnings and the left side will go up by the same amount, um, capturing, potentially captured in the form of cash um, if, it was, uh, if, it, if cash payment was made. So basically a portion of the net income which is retained by the company will be captured by the in the balance sheet um, which captures all of the assets and the liabilities of the company. With respect to the cash flow statement, um, it's linked to the income statement in that the net income uh, is one of the main entries of the cash flow statement under the operating activities. If we remember that the cash flow statement is split into three sections, operating, investing, and financing, then the net income um, is, the first, is the first driver of the operating uh, cash flows. And then that operating, uh, the, to get to the operating cash flow, we have to adjust that net income to make a number of adjustments for things that were not related to cash. For example, uh, the net income was derived by subtracting depreciation um, which is a non-cash charge to account for the use of an item. So in the cash flow statement, that depreciation will be added back. Also, there might have been changes in inventory over the period, um, in which case cash may have been used, and, and that would be um, put, captured in the cash flow statement as an adjustment to the net income. And lastly, any gains on sales of, of assets or investment assets um, that would have been recognized on the income statement would be uh, adjusted, would be an adjustment on the cash flow statement, and the cash flow statement would then capture the full proceeds of, of that activity of selling a particular investment under the investment section of the cash flow statement. And lastly, um, in the financing section, if, a, if the company pays a dividend from its net income, uh, with the balance being retained earnings, um, then that dividend would be captured on the cash flow statement um, as being a cash flow in the financing section. So uh, the cash flow statement will work off of the income statement to a large extent and then make adjustments for any items that are non-cash um, or that did require cash um, that weren't captured on the income statement in order to get a, a complete cash flow for the company over a given time period. So we can, we can see that there are definitely some links with the net income being more of an accounting uh, term for the operations of the company, but obviously a company potentially having other cash flows um, that may relate to operating activities or particularly also to investing and financing activities. Um, and lastly, uh, of course, the balance sheet, um, as we mentioned earlier, the balance sheet um, is very linked to the income statement in terms of its retained earnings. Um, and any changes in investments and so forth would also be captured on the balance sheet. So that the three financial statements aim to give a fairly complete picture of a company um, they, the, typically these accounts would also have footnotes with them um, which would give additional important information on the company but um, the income statement which is, captures the operations of a company as a going concern over a period of time the cash flow statement which captures the cash flows over a period of time from operations investing and financing and the balance sheet which captures a snapshot of the company in time of its assets and liabilities and shareholders equity.